a very significant data dump is coming here in the next few days and I want you to be prepared. Why? Because XLM and XRP moves on macros. We're also gonna talk about venture capital. This also has to do with this big data dump coming up. And I've got this. Sorry, some of you are gonna get butt hurt and we ain't using lube today. And did you catch what the whiteboard said behind me? If not, you're gonna get a fresh dose. John Wayne says, exactly, been calling out this bullshit for years and I've gotten shadow banned and blocked off of channels. There's way too many liars in this space and it needs to stop. They're hurting the crypto space badly. I completely agree with you. Andrew Tran says, bro, is dropping bombs, dude. And I got plenty more ammunition where this came from. Barbara Chaube says, why are you in crypto if you don't think it's going to financially benefit us? With all due respect, if you stay to the end, my outro will be exactly this. Why I'm into crypto and what my expectations are. But this is what set things in motion. Massimo said, buddy, PayPal is going out of business. What the fuck are you talking about, bro? Stop smoking. Here's my response. PayPal going out of business? Lol. Give me what you're smoking, G. Sharing is caring. We learned that in preschool. I'm so f***ing high right now. Now, before we get into the heat map, let's explore that statement regarding PayPal. And you may need lube after this one. I've got PayPal's financials on the screen. Go to Edgar and you could check it out. PayPal's going out of business. Let's check it real quick. Oh, net income. They made one billion in profits this quarter. Oh yeah, they're going out of business. Hold on, for the year, they're at 1.8 billion in profits. Oh my gosh. So PayPal going out of business, that's gonna be tough, why? Cash and cash equivalents, they've got 5.5 billion. Mm-mm, girlfriend. Like I said, sharing is caring. Bitcoin sitting at 28,895. Market is heavily retracing as I record this video. ETH 1814, XRP 61 cents with XLM breaking through 14, sitting at 13.9. Sam Altman's WorldCoin app goes offline, limiting, I, I'm not gonna touch WorldCoin. Anything that requires scanning or any sort of biometrics or body data like that, uh-uh, girlfriend, I ain't interested in it because I don't trust people with my data. Sino Global files a $67 million claim against FTX Alameda for token losses. Get in line, girlfriend, because guess what? This money is waiting for this money, is waiting for this and this and this crypto hot potato. By the way, estimates, what, like 10 to 15 cents to the dollar? Hmm. So what's the big date that's coming up? Well, it has to do with CPI data. August 10th, 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. I'm going to broadcast it live and show you the reaction with XLM and XRP. Now, why is this so big? Well, it's because Jerome Powell and the Fed said, hey, we're going to look at CPI and PPI data every freaking report. And that's going to let us know whether we raise rates, hold rates, or lower rates. What I have up on the screen is the last year. You can see the last report was very juicy. We got down to 3.0. Now you're like, well, wait a minute, Klaus. Seriously, what does this have to do with XLM XRP? Sequoia Capital slashes its crypto con by 66% after the industry collapses because money is expensive. Every time those rates gets up, to borrow, to expand, to grow costs you more and more and more. So if crypto is super risky and it's costing you more and more and more to play in the super risky pool, that's like you buying lotto tickets with credit cards. Oh wait, you can't do that. Get my point? Hold on everyone, you know we ain't done yet. Venture capital firm A16Z unloads 7 million taker tokens, maker, not taker, maker tokens, as the price soars. So these venture capitalist funds are also getting out as they're making some money. Seriously, venture capital fuels crypto. Why? Because venture capital market is some of the most riskiest ones out there. That's why they were fueling the crypto growth over the last few years. But now that Jerome Powell and the Fed have raised rates like through the roof, it's become even more expensive. Auto loans, home loans, business loans, home equity lines of credit, credit card loans, you get my point. It's all becoming way more expensive. So you're not going to take expensive money and throw it to super risky stuff. You're going to take cheap money. And you're like, well, Klaus, what do you mean by cheap money? Oh, see, during the pandemic time, money was essentially free. The government was going, money printer, go burr, her, her, her. See, I didn't sing for a couple videos. Now I'm making up for it. So when money printer went burr, when money was cheap, when the Fed's fund rate was near zero to a quarter, people were like, yo, we could borrow for next to nothing and place risky bets. What did Wesley Snipes say? Always bet on black. 
always bet on black. Right? You go to the roulette table and you spinny, spin, spin. I think it was Wesley Snipes, Passenger 57. Am I right on that one? Either way, venture capitalists pulling out of the market, all right? Sequoia slashing, and they're one of the big ones out there. The $85 billion venture capital firm, yeah, you see what I'm saying? Big money. XRP and XLM. I don't know what the heck happened, but right before I went live to record this, yep, we had more retracement. Now, granted, we did touch from 60 and a half cents. We, we, we just need to hold. We need to hold this until we get the next CPI data, which is again on August 10th. Please join us. Oh, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Notification bell, that's up to you. I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to. But if you want facts, if you want real stuff, if you want people saying, buddy, PayPal is going out of business. What the fuck are you talking about? Stop smoking. Well, that's why you watch this channel. Because Big Daddy uses facts, just like the whiteboard said behind me. So yeah, PayPal is not going out of business. XLM and XRP are definitely going to be moving when? When money becomes cheaper, when it's less expensive. When the Fed, and not just the U.S. Fed, but central banks around the globe start pumping the brakes, right? Going, yo, maybe we can pause. Maybe we can kind of lower rates here a little bit. Until money gets cheaper and we get trust in crypto, we're not going to moon. In fact, it's going to be really hard to even get to like the stratosphere or ionosphere or whatever sphere you want to talk about. Why? Because A, there's no trust. B, it's pumps and dumps. C, it's a hopium-filled bullshit market. And D, money is super expensive. So when money is super expensive, this finger doesn't work correctly, by the way. That's why I can't count normally. When money is more expensive, what happens? They don't want to play in the risky pool. So where did a lot of that venture capital money go to? AI. Pumps and dumps, everyone. So to get back to your earlier comment of why are you in crypto if you don't think it's going to financially benefit us with all due respect? Well, I'll tell you. I, I do think there's benefit, but I think the benefit is even more limited than what it was a couple years ago. The, the window is kind of shutting for a lot of these companies. Why? Venture capital money is pulling out. Obvious, right? Why? Because a lot of the stuff out there we've learned is just FUD, fake, 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 fake news. Yeah, that was three fakes. That's pretty bad, isn't it? And so, yeah, I'm, I am. I'm bullish on the idea of crypto being a cheap way to move money, right? Moving money across the globe, not having to use traditional banking methods. The problem is the leader of a lot of these crypto companies just failed. And not failed like they went to zero, but I mean failed like they missed the opportunity. They missed the opportunity by not being open and upfront with us. What about all those companies out there that were touted to be like ISO, just total mega monsters? Wouldn't it have been nice if any of those CEOs would have been like, yo, seriously, we have nothing to do with like ISO. No, instead they lied and they're like, you know what? Let's use this hype and let's use this hype to build up our price so we can dump monthly on the market. Yeah, so now they're dumping monthly on the market, living lavishly, and what are you getting out of it? So am I positive regarding crypto? Am I bullish regarding crypto? Yes but a lot less bullish than I was two years ago. Why? Money's becoming more expensive. So on a technical basis, right? You don't have as much cash going around and the cash just isn't cheap. It's very, very expensive right now. Have you gone to buy a car or home lately? Mm-hmm, money is way more expensive. The other thing is too is over-promising and under-delivering. Now, I do believe there is a space for crypto. The space though is gonna get smaller and smaller. Why? Because I think the honest use case of crypto, decentralized ledger, which I think is awesome, and moving money, there's going to be competition. Earlier, I did a video about PayPal. That's what brought up the comment from Massimo, saying PayPal's going out of business. By the way, I guess making billions in profit means you're going out of business. Either that or, I don't know, maybe I just don't know how to read the, fi no, no, I know how to read the financials, my God. You know, I used to do this for a job, holy crap, everyone. But the deal here is this. I'm a lot more realistic than most, and yeah, I still do believe there's an upside. Do I believe there's like a stratosphere, ionosphere, moon, oh my God, we're going to Mars thing? No, I don't think so. And the problem I have is that I wish honesty would rule in this marketplace, and it doesn't. How many projects out there were you reading about, listening to, watching videos on, where you're like, yo, this sounds really good, and nothing came out of it? I did a story about nine months ago with Solana. And Solana had this thing on Twitter where they're like, we have something that is going to revolutionize the industry as you know it. And they touted it on Twitter. And I was like, yo, this is a big nothing burger. 
And what happened? I don't know what happened. Obviously, it wasn't that big because nothing happened. And that's the problem. I am bullish on crypto. I just, I'm bullish on a very limited scope use case. I like the idea of payments via stable coins and settlement that way. I like the idea of a distributed ledger. I like the idea that Lowe's is using Web3 technology in order to stop people from theft. That's cool stuff. I like the idea of making donations possible to people across the globe without having to worry about bank intermediaries. But sadly, that's a very, very limited scope in crypto. And a lot of you out there were told that, guess what? All the money in the world is going to move on XRPL. Oh my God, we're, we're, we're going to be moving trillions in... No. See, the idea of moving money, there's going to be competition. And if people think you can make money on it, you're going to launch a product for that competition, right? And that's what PayPal did. PayPal's like, you know what? USDC sucks some big balls right here. And we really want to do good with this whole payment thing. Peer-to-peer -peer payments. That's what PayPal's really good with. Saw that especially during the pandemic when people were using a lot of contactless payments. Now, what we've seen, though, is the world has kind of moved forward from that. The world is like, yo, we ain't doing this lockdown crap anymore because there was more damage than good caused. Yeah, we're still dealing with it now. And in fact, you know, on Jerome Powell's last meeting with the Fed, he said we have several more years to deal with pandemic fallout. Interesting, isn't it? So for the viewers out there that wonder, dude, are you even bullish on crypto? Yeah, I am. But my scope is limited and my expectations are real. Do I expect 10x, 100x, 1000x? Nah, -uh, girlfriend. Especially now with the Fed's fund rates around the globe being way too freakishly high, which means, yep, venture capitalists, the riskiest people out there, ain't gonna get into crypto. So what am I doing? I'm living life based in reality. Realistic expectations. Look at the whiteboard behind me. I fight with facts. In fact, if you want to check out my facts, as always, any article you see in this video or any other video will be linked in the description below, and you're welcome to verify it yourself. In fact, if you want, guess what, everyone? We're going to do a deep dive on Coinbase's financials. Hell, I could do a deep dive on PayPal's financials if you want. So let's get back to being realistic, because guess what? If you overpromise and underdeliver, what happens? Price goes... <coughs> How about we don't promise anything and we just deliver? Price will go up, up, and up. Why? Because you haven't built in the hopium and expectations. Was I more bullish two years ago? I don't know if that was good grammar, but we're going to leave it in. Was I more bullish two years ago? Yeah. But then what happened was, was these companies got greedy. They didn't really deliver. And let's be honest, how many on and under banked have really been helped? What about that whole Akon, XLM City? I haven't heard anything about groundbreaking there, right? I mean, come on now. So yes, I'm bullish, but very limited. And I wish the whole crypto market would take note that, you know what, we have to stop over-promising and under-delivering and simply just deliver. How about you deliver on the basics? Products that make money. Do you ever wonder why companies release tokens every month? It's because they don't make money on their own. There's plenty out there in circulating supply. Plenty, plenty, plenty out there. Especially with stuff that settles within seconds. That means you could reload that supply over and over and over. So if someone wanted to say send, I don't know, 10 billion XLM from here to there, 10 billion XRP from here to there, that means that 10 billion would pop right back into the supply quickly, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, it would. So we really don't need that many coins. But instead what's happening is these companies are dumping on the market every month and traveling all over the world on your money. And what also is happening too, and I'll share this with you. When these companies sell over the counter, you do realize they're not selling to the primaries at the price that you pay for it. No. What they're doing is they're selling at a discount so that when you buy from the exchanges, when you buy from the primaries after they've received it from the host company, they get profit instantly. I don't mean to be rude. I don't mean to be harsh. And yeah, you might need a little bit of this after watching the video. The reality is, oh, fuck the reality. I live in reality. Most people don't. What did I do today? I had a hardcore VO2 max run. Recovery drink. I'm going to stretch a little and lift some weights later. You cool cats, have a great rest of your day.
I'm so f***ing high right now.